Welcome to our demonstration of the rollback and recovery feature of vSphere Distributed Switch, introduced with VMware vSphere version 5.1. Let's start by viewing the lab configuration. Here, we can see two hosts in the data center. The rollback feature is configured at the vCenter level. So select the VCL01A vCenter server and then click on the Manage tab. Then, in the Advanced Settings tab, we type in Network in the search field. The rollback feature is enabled by default. Rollback feature prevents any misconfiguration of the management network, preventing the host from getting disconnected from the vCenter server. Let's demonstrate this by making changes to the management network configuration. Here, the network is configured with a distributed switch. We can see through the topology that the management network port group and the other three port groups are configured on the distributed switch. We will change VLAN 1378 to VLAN 1300 on the management port group. With this change, the host will not be able to communicate with the vCenter server because VLAN 1300 is not configured on the physical switch. After the configuration, we will see a warning, which shows that the configuration couldn't go through, and you will see the host communication exception. Thus, the rollback feature prevents the host getting disconnected with the vCenter server. Now let's see how the recovery feature works. We have to disable the rollback feature at the vCenter server level. To disable the rollback feature, we select VCL01A and go to the Manage tab and edit the advanced settings. Here we change the rollback parameter to false. Note that changing vCenter server rollback settings is not at all recommended. We are changing the settings just to demonstrate the recovery feature. After disabling the rollback feature, we will repeat the misconfiguration of the management network port group by changing VLAN. The change is now allowed because the rollback feature is disabled. The hosts will be disconnected from the vCenter server and we will get a system error exception failure message. Next, we go to Hosts and Cluster view to check the status of the host. We see that the host ESX01 is disconnected from the vCenter server, and now the vCenter server cannot manage the host. To connect the host back to the vCenter server, we go to the Direct Console User Interface DCUI of the host. Log in and select the Network Restore option and go to Restore VDS. Here, we select both the uplinks and enter the correct VLAN 1378. Now that we have made configuration changes through the Direct Console user interface on both the hosts, let's take a look at the host's connectivity again. We can see in the Summary tab the error is gone, and we can manage these hosts through vCenter Server. After making the change on the hosts locally, we see that the distributed switch configuration on the host is different from that of vCenter Server. We have to synchronize the configuration. Before the synchronization process, we should first change the Management Network Port Group's VLAN property from 1300 to 1378. Then select the distributed switch, and then right-click to select Add Manage Hosts. Go through the wizard by selecting the hosts first. We will see that the VM kernel interface, VMK0, of the management network, after going through the recovery process, is connected to the dummy port ID HLP08051. Now, we need to migrate the VM kernel, VMK0, from the dummy port ID to the management port group. So we select VMK0 and then map the VMK0 to the management network port group. We repeat this process for the other host. where the recovery was done through the DCUI, and then click Next. Finally, we have synchronized the changes that were made locally on the hosts through the recovery process with vCenter server configuration. With the rollback recovery feature, administrators now don't have to worry when a host's management network is configured on a distributed switch. First, the rollback feature prevents hosts getting disconnected from the vCenter server. And second, even if they get disconnected, the recovery process is simple and fast. This concludes the demonstration of the rollback and recovery feature of vSphere Distributed Switch, introduced with VMware vSphere version 5.1. Thank you.